stuff I'm finding. <clears throat> so I was like, what the, what is this? I looked down and I put it away. I was like, well, I guess it's important. Probably not. It's written in all caps. It doesn't mean anything. I usually write in all caps. And then I just remembered, picked it up again. I was like, oh yeah. Force Dennis to Skype Michael. And I pretended not to be there. And I wrote, I told him what he should write. And weirdly, he kind of did, mostly. I was, I read it later. It says, she, that's me, hello, is really sad about you. Why don't you like her? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like a note that you would have your friend pass in fifth grade. And then I wrote, there's a line in it that says, do you think she's a good Christian? Does he? Who knows? And then, and then, oh, I instructed Dennis to say, because it's circled with a colon, and underlined, are you really leaving? No, I wasn't. I wanted Michael to think I was leaving, going home to Texas, not to Arizona. It's just cool stuff I find. Also, this, when I read Don DeLillo's Libra, before I even thought about the fact that my moon was in Libra, Beautiful. Page 33, in case you're interested, if you have that edition of that book. Mine is in Centerville, or in a storage unit, probably just on the bookshelf. This was, oh, I feel like, okay, I don't remember what this says, but I'm just going to pretend it's all about Ocelot, not me. It's probably just going to be about Dennis, to tell you the truth. This was also like him. Oh, he's going to start crying. Dennis won't. Dennis is not going to watch this. Ocelot's definitely going to watch it, and he's going to cry. This was also like Ocelot. <laughs> to be a misplaced martyr. And let you think he was just a fool. Well, he doesn't let anyone think that. Or exactly the reverse. There you go. As long as he knew the truth. And you didn't. Wow, is he a Libra? That would make perfect sense if his son was conjunct my moon. True. Page 71. You can't surrender your rage and shame to these endless complications. Lost a lot and added that. Page 73, two pages later. This is what happens to loved ones who go away. We make them sit in a room forever. Yeah, this room. And also every other room I'm in, Kitty Cat. <laughs> and lastly, but most importantly, on page 133, without a P, it is like the shadow of his own life keeps falling across his path. That is the lamest sentence ever written. But it might be true about your life, Ocelot. Call me on my new number, which you don't have. Pretty sure you're not the hacker I think you are. I'm still sure you're just a guy. That's how I prove I'm not crazy. They're not going to lock me up in Keenwood Pines again. So I stopped calling you Kitty Cat. Now I've started calling the Marriott guy David, if that's the right name. He just shit his pants. Now he's become increasingly unattractive. That's how I fix his narcissism. He's probably going to find, go have a psychotic break and find me with a gun. That would be awesome. I hope the Scientologists tell him exactly where I live. I say it on my YouTube channel all the time. You have to watch all the videos to find out where I did. Give me my own phone. My old phone number is 936-244-8809. That's the one Ocelot has, but it didn't save any voicemail. So. That's what I call my Detroit number. That's the, that's the phone I smashed in Detroit because of the Scientologists. It was not a wise move. It was a very good phone. Better than this one and better than my other two. Or three. One of them was stolen along with my NES. No joke. One laptop was in my car that was stolen. The other laptop was stolen from my apartment. It was not my friends. Don't say it with my friends. They don't steal shit. They bring too much stuff to sell. They're not stealing it either, I promise you. You follow them, which you do. Oh, this pile's getting smaller. Sweet.